Yeah. And um, how do you reconnect with your intention as a teacher when you're traveling and with kids That's and living question. in New York? That's and a great question. How do I reconnect with my intention? Someone told me something very interesting once. Um, back when I first started getting to spirituality, I was still in a band. And I was visiting an ashram in New York. And one of the persons that really inspired me he, and that I would talk to on a regular basis, a mentor of mine, he said, you know, uh, what kind of guitar does your guitar player play? And I thought, that was a weird question out of the blue he's going to ask me. We've only talked about spiritual subjects. And then I said, uh, I don't know, Gibson Les Paul, why do you even ask? And he said, well, I used to play jazz guitar. And I thought, oh, really? What do you mean you used to play? I, he said, well, you know, for me, it was sort of Maya. And I challenged him. I challenged my teacher. He said, I said, what do you mean it's Maya? You've always taught me that everything is divine if you use it in a divine way. So here I am taking music and using it in a, a positive way. He said, I know, I understand, but for me, it was Maya. It was an illusion. It got me into trouble, whatever. And I challenged him and held him to the point. I said, but you've always said, and the Bhagavad Gita itself teaches that you don't give up what you're born to do. You take what you do and you use it in a spiritual way. You don't just falsely renounce things. And he said, I appreciate that, but for me it wasn't so. And I kept on pushing and pushing and pushing, and finally he said, okay. Okay. He said, next time you're on stage, see if you're doing it to serve God or to be God. And at that point, it was one of those paradigm-shifting moments where I was like, boom! And I realized that everything I did in my life was all about me being the center. And that one little statement changed changed the way I teach, changed the way I sang, changed the way I sing songs, changed the way I deal with my children, changed the way I deal with my wife, changed the way I deal with my students, right? It's to take me as the center and see, okay, these students are sent to me by my teachers for me to serve. Not that so I can think, yeah, check me out, right? When I chant a kirtan, a kirtan when I'm chanting a song, I can start to think like, yeah, they must think I'm cool at doing this. Or I can do it in a way of, of service and gratitude, you know? So that little thing of taking yourself as a center is such a massive, was a massive paradigm shift for me. And it's not like you just flick the switch and now I'm perfect. Now I do everything in service. It's a moment by moment game you're playing. You're living the Bhagavad Gita at every moment.